welcome back to my channel. It's me, Joy Presley. Now, before we start the video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That'd be greatly appreciated. So today we're gonna be talking about what is it like living in Korea? Now, this is a really big question that I get asked a lot and I cannot wait to answer it. So basically, we're gonna talk about five pros, five cons, and then we're gonna talk about some other stuff that you guys probably wanna know, like, you know, what is it like being black in Korea, or is it racist in Korea, or just things like that we are gonna talk about. So we're gonna get started on the pros. So the number one pro is the food is bomb. I love the food so much. My favorite thing is bulgogi, and it's basically marinated beef with spices, and you eat rice, and it is so delicious. So I love, love, love the food. It's the best here. So the next pro is basically the experience. So I never been outside the country before and ever since I joined the army, we've been traveling a lot and being in Korea is just amazing. Like who would have thought I'd be on the whole other side of the world? A lot of people do not get this experience. So I would have to say the experience is definitely a pro. The next pro is cheap trains. Trains here are dirt cheap. When me and my boyfriend David took a trip to Seoul, which is the capital, we only paid about $9 per person, which is so cheap and it was round trip. So nine bucks to and from, and it was so amazing. So I would have to say cheap trains is such a huge pro. In New York, you're gonna pay about $20 round trip and that's just for one day twenty dollars per person is a lot of money so here in korea you can go anywhere you want for dirt cheap and i love it and basically speaking of trains i want to mention that the subways here are so clean that's another pro about korea the trains are so clean you can literally see your face in the floor i'm not lying i will insert a few pictures of the train and it's just so great here everything is just so pretty looking and spaced out and i just love it here so the next pro is there's a lot of stores for skinny or petite people now when it comes to me and my body i'm very small i'm only 5'1 i think i'm about 104 pounds so i'm really not a big girl and in the states a lot of stuff cannot fit me a lot of stuff is either too big too loose but here in Korea, a lot of the females are very skinny and petite, just like me. So I'm able to find tons of cute outfits, not really at the PX, but like outside of Korea, me and my boyfriend David went to a lot of stores. Well, he mostly took me to stores to buy really cute outfits, such as cute little crop tops. They have skinny jeans and just things that make me feel really pretty and beautiful. So if you're skinny like me, you will love Korea because you can find things that are actually in your size and you won't have to go to the kids section in the PX, you can actually find things that fit. All right guys, so the last pro that I have to share with you is Korea is so peaceful. Like when I say peaceful, I mean like, if you go into a store, you will not hear a bunch of people yelling and acting crazy. Korea is such a peaceful place. Like you could go anywhere and you won't hear a pin drop. The only time that you're gonna see a lot of crowds is in Seoul or any places that's like very busy. But other than that, Koreans are very nice people overall. And it's just very calm here. It's very peaceful and I love it. Hey guys, so now we're gonna switch the gears and we're gonna talk about the cons. Now I have a ton of cons, but for the video, we are only gonna talk about six. So the first one is the weather. So during the winter time, it is super, super, super cold. I had no idea that Korea got snow. That really shocked me. When I saw it snowing, I was like, what the hell? And then also the summertime gets really, really hot. So like your skin will be burning, like you will be sweating buckets. So yeah, that's definitely a con is the weather. It doesn't stay nice all year round and it doesn't stay cold all year round. It's kind of just an eh kind of thing. So I would have to say the weather, I thought that the weather would be better in Korea. I always thought that Korea was like very warm all the time, but that's not true. They do get snow here, so that is a con. So the next con is Korea really has a bad smell. Like there's something that's really big in Korea where they do a lot of farming, agriculture. So yeah, that is a huge con. Korea freaking smells horrible. It kind of has like a urine smell mixed in with feces. And I understand that they're trying to grow, you know, plants and crops, but that is a huge con, guys, because every time, you know, me and my friends go outside, we have to be swept in by the horrible smell. So that is definitely a big con is the smell. 
The next con that we have is Corona. So Corona has stopped us from having a lot of fun. We can't we can't go to the capital anymore. We can't go to certain restaurants because you know of the virus. Even though we can't control the virus, that is a con because I'm not able to enjoy Korea as much as I want to because of the virus. So that really sucks. And yeah, I hate Corona. So the next con that we're going to talk about is Korea does not have Disney Plus or Hulu without a VPN. Now that's a big con for me because you either have to buy a VPN or you have to use it for free. Now it's not a problem when I use it for free on my iPhone, but the thing is when I download a VPN, it's taking up storage and space. You know, that's one extra app I have to use just to watch Hulu and Disney Plus. So that's definitely a con for me is that Korea is not Disney Plus or Hulu friendly unless you have a VPN. The next con is scarcity of food items and spices. So Korea does not have a lot of like Caribbean spices. Like I had to have my mom send me tons of that stuff. So Korea doesn't have curry powder and they don't have things like uh, masala and just different spices that you would find or even like Puerto Rican spices or Latin spices. You have to either get somebody to send it to you or order it on Amazon. So yeah, that's that's something that kind of sucks about Korea is the scarcity of items. So another con that I have to mention is online shopping. Oh my goodness guys, this is such a big one for me because some of my favorite online stores such as Etsy or Poshmark will not ship to Korea. No matter what, no matter if I email the seller, they will not ship to Korea because this is very far away and like I said, it really sucks when I want something and I can't get it. It's either you're gonna have to have your parents send you something which is gonna take up to three months or you're just not gonna be able to get it at all. Now, Amazon does ship to Korea but there are certain items on there that will not come to you. It'll say like, does not ship to your current location which is really a pain in the neck because sometimes I really want an item but I have to sacrifice not having it just because I'm over here in a different country. So that is definitely a big con for me is online shopping can be really annoying. Okay guys, so before we end the video, I do want to talk about something really big that I always get asked and that is what is it like being black in Korea and is there racism? So 100% I feel like anywhere you go, no matter where, Timbuktu, Connecticut, California, freaking australia i feel like everywhere you go there's going to be racism and there's going to be people who are very evil but when it comes to korea um there's definitely 50 50. so i do feel like korea is a place where a lot of the people here are very nice and they're polite but there are some people who are very racist i've been followed in the store before yes i've been followed in the store i was in the store and the lady i guess she was like the manager she legit was walking behind me the whole time. I turn around and she's still there. And I'm just like, so yeah guys, this crazy lady was basically following me in the store. Now, some Koreans will follow you in the store if they wanna help you or they see that you look like a tourist. But in this case, you could tell when something's not right. And I definitely feel like she was watching me because I was black. And I say that because there was another lady that walked in. She was white, but she didn't get followed. So you know what I mean? I feel like I don't want to label all Koreans and say that they're all racist, but I do think that racism does exist everywhere, not just in Korea, not just, you know, in Florida. I feel like it exists everywhere. And I do think that some Koreans who are really evil do judge you because of your skin color. And I feel like that's evil and horrible. But yeah, I have to tell you guys that Korea does have a dark side. It is racist. Some people are racist, but then again, some people are really nice and are trying to help you. So yeah, that is definitely um, something that I have to mention about Korea. There is a dark side. Okay guys, so I do want to end this on a positive note because that was a mouthful. So I do want to say that living in Korea is definitely such a fun experience. It's a privilege. Yes, there are bad things. Yes, there are good things. But overall, I'm super blessed. I met my wonderful boyfriend David in Korea. I am so happy. I would have never guessed I'd be here when I was younger. I would have never imagined myself being a soldier in the army. And like I said, I have great friends here, great NCOs, great leadership. And yeah, guys. Living in Korea is definitely an experience, and yeah, I'm blessed to have this once-in-a-lifetime experience. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and share. That'd be greatly appreciated, and I love you guys. Bye!